Looking to set up your Xiaomi AC1200 router? You've come to the right place, so get yourself and get your box ready. In this tutorial, we will be covering the unboxing and content of the AC1200 router, first time installation of the Xiaomi app, the initial setup of the device, and the basic use of the device in the app. Let's get to it. First things first, in the box, you are going to find the router itself, a user manual, then you will find a ethernet cable and a power cord. These are all the things you need in order to start the process. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna install the Xiaomi Home app and we wanna do it correctly. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to our iOS store or in this case, Play Store. We are gonna search for Xiaomi and we can see there at the top, Xiaomi Home. So we are gonna click on that and we're gonna install. Once it's installed, open the app. Now we need to actually create an account so we can say sign in and then we say create account. Now South Africa is correct. We'll put in our email address. Then I've read and agreed next. Enter the verification code that you see here. Now you can see I've already created one. So you would need to go and confirm your account. So in order to progress, I'm actually just gonna log the account. But if you don't have one, just follow the steps and sign in. Okay, allow while using the app is advantageous because a lot of the products from Xiaomi do rely on geographical data. So it is advised to allow while using the app. You can allow or not allow notifications. In this case, I'm going to allow because if for example, something happened to your router, you'll get a notification or on security cameras, for an example, you will get a notification saying, hey, something's happened. So it is beneficial to allow notifications. Okay, we are officially in and we are ready to get going. Just a couple of things. Note on the top left, you can see their studio. Note that you can go into family management and create additional profiles by pushing the plus over there and create a family group name. We are not gonna do that now. You can also go into Xiaomi's website and further customize your profile. But we are in a profile here, we've called it studio. So for example, I don't live at my studio. I have a different profile for my studio as I do for my actual home address. And we are ready to start adding devices. Okay, now that the app is set up, the first step that you want to do is plug in the router to power and then plug in the ethernet cable from the ONT into the router. Ensure that you've connected it into the internet slot of the router, it should be blue. However, if you don't have a blue internet slot, it would be slot number one on the router. Now that we've set up the app and we've connected everything, we can already see a plus. So we're gonna go to the plus and it's already identified add device. And we are gonna say allow. And we can see there Xiaomi router AC1200. We are gonna select on that. Now we can see that the router is named is Xiaomi router RB02MIAP843A. So we are gonna connect to Wi-Fi and we're gonna look for that network. Now we can see that there's a 5G and a 2.4. It doesn't say 2.4, but it is. You can select on either. I'm just gonna select on 2.4 and we are connected. So now we can go back to the app. Now we're gonna say always connect and go back. Now we are setting this up as a new router. It is our only option. We are gonna say continue. Now we have the ability to combine the 2.4 and 5G networks. This is something that I always prefer to do. And we are gonna say yes by selecting that option. Now we can change the Wi-Fi name and I'm going to do that because I'm going to call the Xiaomi AC1200 and I'm gonna change the password to password123. Now note that if you do want your router administrator password to be different, you would just need to select on that icon and then put in an administrator password. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep them. You will also see another icon and this icon is a option for the router or devices firmware to be automatically updated or upgraded when the router is idle. This is great for those who don't wanna go into the app and manually update it or manually tick saying that you want the firmware to be updated. Now note, because we've changed the Wi-Fi name, we would have automatically been kicked off the Wi-Fi network because it doesn't recognize it anymore because now it's been set up. So what we need to do is 
exactly what this is, connect to Wi-Fi, and we need to look for Xiaomi AC1200. We will select there, we will put the password that we put in, and we will connect. Okay, and then we go back and we will say pair router. Once that is done, we will select a room. We are gonna put this in the studio because that's where it is. Next, we're gonna keep the name the same because it's easier to identify on the app as well as the network, we're gonna say next. Now that we're set up and we're in the app, the first thing that you're gonna see is the name of the device. Then underneath that, a picture of the device with the upload and download speeds, as well as the setting it's in, in Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, and so on. Then we have device management and we can see all the devices. You can go into the devices and manage things like smart speed limiting. You can deny internet access at certain times, as well as blacklist certain websites. We also have the Wi-Fi settings that you have the ability to see what the Wi-Fi name is, generate a QR code, as well as change the password. Then in router settings, we have network settings, timed restart, manage password, restart router, upgrade assistance, restore to factory settings, LED indicator controls, and IPTV. The one thing that I do wanna to touch on is upgrade assistant, as it's very convenient for your firmware to be updated, and it really helps to make sure that your Wi-Fi and network are operating optimally. Next, we have QoS speed limits, where you can limit the speed of the entire network, and then Wi-Fi optimization, in which where you click, it optimizes it by a percentage. Really cool tool to make sure that you are constantly optimizing your network. Lastly, we have router amps, which is a set timer to disable Wi-Fi. We can add guest Wi-Fi, anti-hacking, and WPS. As an added bonus, we can also set up the guest Wi-Fi. You'd need to go to router apps at the bottom and select guest Wi-Fi. On the slider, just tap it or slide it so that it's on and you can see the name there. You can rename this as well as the password and encryption method. We are gonna name this to Xiaomi guest Wi-Fi and the password we will leave the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we will confirm. Now note that this will cause your Wi-Fi devices or your routers to restart and reconfigurate themselves. When this is done, it will output another signal from the router showing your guest Wi-Fi network separate from your main network or networks, depending on what you selected on the 2.4 and 5 output stage. And that's it. You can go back into the guest Wi-Fi and change things like speed, but that's for another day. But note for mesh devices that guest Wi-Fi will only output through the primary node. Now on to the troubleshooting. The first thing that we're gonna look at is if the router icon does not appear. If you can see that the device is not showing up, there are a few remedies to this, but first ensure that Bluetooth is on. Some of these Xiaomi devices do put out a Bluetooth signal in order to be found for first time setup. So make sure that your Bluetooth is on and you are close to the device. If that doesn't work, try turning off the device and turning it on again so that it automatically resets. You can also try restarting the application itself. And as a last resort, you can factory reset the device with the ethernet plugged out. Now I'll show you how to do this. All you need to do is hold the button for 10 seconds and the device will reset. However, if none of these methods work, you can start with the first thing going scan code to add. This is the QR code and you'll scan it. It should be on the packaging and on the device itself. Now, this will automatically identify the type of device. If you don't want to do that, you can actually add the device manually and you would scroll down this list, select, we will go in to the routers or gateway or amplifier, in this case, router, and we will select which router it is. Once that's done, it's actually gonna follow the same steps because these are set up through Wi-Fi, so you're not missing anything. Basically, it's almost like fast tracking a step where you would go and search for the Wi-Fi signal that this router is outputting, and then we just carry on. The second thing that we're going to look at is if you get this connection issue. Now, if you see this image while you are setting up, don't be troubled. It does happen every now and again, and I've developed a list of troubleshooting for you to be able to sort it out. 
The first and most simple thing, and the thing that's happened to me a few times because I run quite a few devices in my home, is just to unplug the ethernet cable out of the router and plug it back in and try again. This works 99% of the time, it's just because the device was struggling to pick up who or what it was in a complicated situation like mine. However, if this doesn't work, there are other things that you can do. The second thing that you'd want to do is turn off and turn on the device again and just wait for it to restart and then again, try again. You may have to go back into the menu and basically forward yourself into the steps, but that will also be a potential remedy. The third thing that you can do is turn on and off your ONT. Sometimes it's sitting with old settings and you need to turn it off for about 20 seconds or so and then turn it on for those settings to refresh to allow it to connect to a new router. The other thing that you can do is try a different cable. Sometimes the cable that you're working with just doesn't work and it's the most frustrating thing because you're doing everything right but simply trying another cable does work in many cases. The last resort that I would say is a factory reset by going to the reset button, holding it in for 10 seconds and then waiting for the orange light to appear and then going through these steps again. However, just because the first steps didn't work didn't mean that they were the incorrect ones because sometimes you have to do it a few times. Sometimes it's just a case of the router just trying to figure itself out and just trying these things a few times actually ends up with success. And the last thing is an extra step, which will be rare, but if you do not have internet because your ISP requires an extra step and you have an exclamation mark where your Wi-Fi logo appears. Now, in order to get your internet connection, it's just querying that the new device that you set up was actually by you because things do happen. And all you need to do is follow the prompts on the screen. In my case, you just need to send an SMS and you would get a code to say, okay, cool, this is in fact you and the internet would push through. You actually do have internet, but the ISP is blocking any packets from being sent because they're just trying to make sure that in fact that it is you. So if you do see this, just follow the steps. If you're unsure, just give your ISP a call, but note that you have successfully set up your device. And that's it. You should have successfully set up your device and should be using it capably. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll get to it as soon as possible, or hopefully a community member gets there first. Cheers, goodbye.